Hello everyone, I'm Jordan, a developer advocate over at Superwall. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to present a paywall in iOS using the Superwall SDK. Okay, so let's get started presenting a paywall. Before I show you the code, it really helps to understand how paywalls work within Superwall. So I've got my example app open on Superwall here. And within each app, you have one or more campaigns. And each of these campaigns have a thing called placements. Here are my placements up here to the left. I've only got two right now, caffeine logged and custom icon selected. The idea is that you create as many placements, also sometimes called treatments, for any action that you want to have paywalled. And then when you create these placements, you can also further refine them by creating filters and rules for when they should display. Each treatment has a paywall associated with it. Here we can see a paywall that I've got with caffeine logged. If I go back, I can make one or more paywalls too and associate those back to campaigns and their placements. So what should happen in this campaign is that if someone reaches the caffeine logged event and they are not pro, then that associated paywall will show. Here's my demo app and that's exactly what I've got set up here. There is a mock caffeine tracking application and when they hit the log button, I log that event with Superwall. You can see that right here. I register the caffeine logged event and then Superwall's SDK will evaluate whether or not they're already on a subscription or have paid for that product. If they haven't, we'll present the paywall. If they have, in a real application, you would want to provide a closure here to log the caffeine. I'll show that real quick, just in case you want to know what it looks like. Okay, let's run the app and see what happens. So I'll click that plus button and I'm not pro. So the paywall then shows it's as easy as that. Now, keep in mind when you're getting things up and running, you don't yet have to have your product set up in app store connect or super wall to get this working and testing. You can go ahead and make events placements, associate them to paywalls. And as long as you register those events, they will still show up while you're testing things.